Tancos, Portugal, we start with a spectacular parachute drop operation that involves soldiers from the Portuguese Army. Under perfect weather conditions, about 20 soldiers jumped out of their aircraft doing insertions behind enemy lines. Highly trained and capable, these airborne troops allow our forces to quickly gain access to key terrain and accomplish their ground combat objectives. And in San Gregorio, Spain, there was a huge operation to facilitate the relocation of about 100 displaced civilians into a proper refugee camp. This was done in a very coordinated way between the military forces of Spain and Poland and several civilian organizations who are normally the lead for such humanitarian assistance responsibilities. And as part of this coordinated effort, military police performed security tasks involving searches for drugs and weapons, ensuring that movement of displaced persons went smoothly. Moving on to Sierra del Reti in Spain for a large-scale amphibious exercise involving land, sea and air elements of the amphibious task group from the Netherlands and the U.S. Marine Corps. With the support of several naval ships, landing crafts and helicopters, the Marines arrived in force at the training landing site to conduct a range of operations onshore. Throughout the mission, we saw an impressive demonstration of highly mobile joint and combined military capability able to quickly take control of a situation on the ground. And finally, in Saragossa, Spain, members of the Romanian Chemical, Biological, Radioactive and Nuclear Defense Team were hard at work training to decontaminate a helicopter, also ensuring that CBRN threats were eliminated from the immediate vicinity of the battlefield. Working together, NATO nations have the capability to detect, counter and recover from these very highly lethal types of threats. Music